Long time ago is a Chinese barbecue restaurant that first opened in Beijing and currently has over 300 branches across China. The first Philippine branch was opened in Manila along P. Burgos, Makati on May 12, 2017 with the concept of serving fresh produce on a gorgeous smokeless charcoal grill as well as Sichuan cuisine with a modern bar. They have since branched out to the posh S. Maison Mall and now offer a delicious simmering hot pot experience with imported meats and fresh seafood and vegetables and a well-stocked bar with European draft beer to complement your meal. The modern dining area is separated into two sections, barbecue and hot pot, with comfortable seating and tables imported from China, including the curved aquariums and massive T-Rex replica fossil. Upon seating, you will be served complimentary peanuts as well as a hot towel to freshen up. Hi everybody, we just arrived at long time ago, but this is their newest second branch here at S. Maison Mall. And it's a very interesting setup. They have uh, very unique chopsticks. See? So you can build your chopstick here with the wooden segment. Just put it in. Wow. Makes your chopstick very long. And to start, I ordered a Japanese craft beer called Bayern Wabi Sabi Ale. So let's try it out. Cheers. Wow. It's very refreshing and has a very deep herbal flavor from the malt. I guess the closest thing I could say this can be compared to would be Delirium, which is my favorite beer from Belgium. It's also an ale. What's alcohol content? 6%. Not bad. Looking forward to showing you the rest of the food that we're ordering today. I want to say I was happy and feeling very comfortable since we just arrived here because the staff immediately brought us a towel, we wiped our hands and then they gave an appetizer which we already finished because we can't eat. And then they kept even for the say, I guess it's a recent thing, so I ordered And they have a live band every weekend from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Fridays to Sundays. How's your watermelon shake, Alexandra? Uh, 
I'm so impressed with their draft beer selection. Aside from their craft uh, Japanese beers and bottles, they also have German beers, European beers. So next, I have a Polaner Hefe Weiss beer, which is a wheat beer from Germany. Oh, that's just awesome. From their hot pot menu, we would highly recommend the mild version of the butter spicy soup and pork bone soup, beef golden mushroom roll, U.S. fatty beef, Australia lamb, shrimps, spinach, corn, golden mushroom, winter melon, lobster balls, and yao mak. We previously featured their barbecue at their Makati branch and would recommend the shrimp, lamb, and Taiwanese sausage. For appetizers, make sure to try their century egg with pepper and golden mushroom. Let's now check out their Shabu Shabu sauce station, which is quite comprehensive. It's self-serve. Okay, wow. Okay, you got garlic, one soy, spring onion, chili, fresh chili, chili oil, green chili, homemade chili sauce, soy sauce, vinegar, pepper oil, sesame oil, oyster sauce, preserved tofu, and peanut butter. We got uh, Ajinomoto, which is MSG, chicken granules, beef sauce, and of course, Chinese satay sauce. This is very important for your shabu shabu sauce. It's time to make my sauce. I got my customized long time ago sauce bowl. <clears throat> okay, I'll start off with some soy sauce. A little bit of black vinegar, sesame oil, sesame oil. A little bit of oyster sauce, a little bit of preserved tofu. Peanut butter is very interesting. It's very powerful, so just a tad drizzle there. I love garlic. It's gonna be like the bulk of my sauce. Oh yeah, baby. That's good for my heart. Oh, I like their one soy here. It's very, very fresh. No black bits. Spring onions. You want to add it, Alexander? Okay, add chili for Papa. Ooh. Alexander likes to see me sweat, don't you, Alexander? That's enough. <laughs> little bit, little bit of chili oil. Very little. Green chili, no. Homemade chili. Okay, let's add some of this homemade chili. I haven't tried that homemade chili. Nice scoop. Of course, you have to come down because now they have the Chinese satay sauce. I, I want to get it. I want to get it. Okay, but don't get any liquid. Don't get any liquid. Yes, that's more. That's pretty really good. Thank you. I'm gonna add more soy. Can I, can I okay, you can add soy. If you look at my sauce now, it's a little bit dry. It should be more saucy. So, soy there. You can add a little bit of vinegar. Not no, that's too big. Vinegar is too strong. Sesame oil. That's too much. That's good. Thanks. So that is my perfect shabu shabu sauce.
Wow, that looks good. So those are our two different kinds of soups. This one is the pork bone soup and spicy soup. All right, pork bone soup and the pork bone butter, butter spicy. spicy soup. All right, thank you so much. Our soups have arrived and wow, I just have to say, look at this amazing double bowl of soup. This is probably like the most gorgeous shabu shabu cooking pot I've ever seen in my life. And, and something special, aside from the sauce I made, I have my little bit of satay, garlic, cilantro, and spring onions, which I'm gonna add to both soups. I'm already salivating because this looks so spicy and I love spice. Okay, so let's add half in here. And the other half in here. Oh yeah. So the band left, that's why we got some Chinese background music. Let's stir that up a little bit. Let's wait for our ingredients to arrive. Long time ago, bib time. Apron. All right. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a full on apron. I thought it was just a bib. Are you ready to work in the kitchen, Okay, so we're just waiting for our ingredients to arrive. I love the presentation. Everything looks fresh and I love this side table they have, which is three tiers. We got a lot more coming, guys. That is a massive cauldron. Watermelon sauce. Yes. Ah, in some restaurants, they serve it inside of the soup inside of the vegetable. And now, I love the quality of ingredients. Just even looking at it, it's spectacular. I love yes. those rolls. 
Lobster balls are essential. They add a lot of flavor into the shabu shabu. Those are my favorite balls you could ever add to shabu shabu. But it also depends on how good those lobster balls are. These lobster balls look fabulous. Just gorgeous. Plump. Hallelujah. I didn't okay, understand it's... what is that. I thought it's a noodle, then he said skin. I thought it's maybe a pork skin. It's tofu skin. Yes. Please, can I put it? Okay, Alexandro, just make sure it doesn't drop and make a lot of uh, splash. <laughs> put it closer to the pot. <laughs> so we're still building our appetite. I do have to say the serving sizes are quite generous and they just look amazing. The meat has been well taken care of here in the freezer. Because look at the color of it. Okay, that is the US fatty beef. The shrimps look Quite decently sized, and we have the strawy lamb. That isn't a feast for an emperor. I don't know. This is not possible. Today we're doing something different. We're gonna try bull penis. I've never tried it in my life. Aksana's never tried it in her life, and that's what we're gonna eat before we get on to the hot pot here. Oh wow. That really looks like a bull penis. There's that hole there. Okay, babe. Yeah, I can say it's um, green from balut to the bull penis. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. They put some. It's a grilled bull penis, by the way. Yes, it's cooked already. It has some, uh, some ingredients, some very powerful spices. So it's aromatic, I hope it doesn't taste like urine or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> so here it's grilled. It's a grilled bull penis. It's tasty. Um, gelatinous. Gelatinous um, texture. I think I will chew it forever. <laughs> so you don't have to finish it. Are you willing to have another bite? Or is that enough? Maybe later. If I don't just too hungry. But it's really not good. It's a little bit of a lesson. Okay. This is going to be my first bull penis in my life. Mm. In Tagalog, I would call this immediately from first bite makunat, which means it's like tough and chewy. Oh. <laughs> There's no way I can handle that. No way. I guess also the idea of it, but like the texture is just like so chewy. That's just difficult to swallow. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, Alexander, you want to try? Oh my god, Alexander wants to try. Oh my gosh. Ready? Take a bite. I really want to know your opinion about it. Okay, bite it. <laughs> What can you say? I didn't like it. <laughs> and that's just off one bite. But hey, that's that's a delicacy. And 
people like to eat it, but personally, that's not for me at all. Adding some of the veggies, we got the spinach. Nice spinach. Wow, that looks like Japanese spinach. Yeah, very green. Green and meaty. And we're trying a new Chinese vegetable. It looks like lettuce. Yeah. Is it, is it just Something like lettuce. Maybe it's romaine. Yeah. Looks like romaine, yeah. But they use a Chinese name here. Yeah, I think it's romaine. Okay guys, I'm just about to try their super spicy pork broth. Ooh, actually I, I had some a little bit earlier. <laughs> it is so spicy. Normally I can, I can handle any spice. But this is like way over top because the layer of spice on top is probably around this much. Plus those Sichuan peppercorns. Oh my god, it takes it really to another level. If I force myself, I could eat it. But what I like is it's super spiced, whatever's in there. Then you can just dip it into your dipping sauce and enjoy that. But to actually finish the whole soup, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. So I would probably recommend the mild or the medium. But apparently, a lot of Chinese can handle this super spicy and can finish it. Since I'm only half Chinese, I guess maybe the medium would have been okay for me. That was too crazy. But extremely flavorful. The soup broth itself was delicious and light. And now the a classic pork bone broth. It's a very light, uh, savory broth. A little bit milky. This I think would good, be good for anybody's palate. But that's what I'll be focusing on for the rest of our meal. Put it also in the spicy soup. Absolutely gorgeous. What is that? Shrimp. Shrimp. How do you like the corn, Alexandro? Okay, now I'm gonna try their protein. First off, the beef wrapped uh, golden mushroom. Okay, so it's uh, too thick stuff through that. Got a bit of uh, chili at the end. This looks good. A little bit hot from the hot pot. Thank you. But that has excellent texture with the mushrooms and the beef wrap. So it's probably wrapped in the same uh, fatty beef that's up next. Slices of their meat here are quite thin. 
since they have an electronic meat slicer. Definitely U.S. beef. Yeah, so Extremely tender. Okay, up next, the lamb. Woo! It's very spicy. probably even more tender than the beef so from those meat proteins you ordered I would suggest the beef wrap golden mushroom the fatty beef and the lamb Cheers. Well, the shrimp for the shabu shabu is quite easy to peel. It's Alexandra's favorite. It's hard to stop. Yeah, addictive. Yeah. everything. Uh, I really enjoyed the lamb, beef, golden mushroom wrap, the lobster balls, uh, the veggies, the fresh veggies. Uh, in terms of the soup, I think it's... Uh, I like both. I might have gotten the medium instead of the super spicy for this Sichuan uh, pork ball. This was really super spicy. I, I could have managed to have it. In terms of the regular pork bone broth, that was absolutely delicious. I would highly recommend that. If you're into spice, make sure to get a medium or even the mild of this. And then, aside from that, I really enjoyed the eggplant with salted egg, and as well as the shrimps for the for the hot pot. And I was very impressed that they had a very wide selection of European draft beers here, plus a, plus even Japanese craft beers. So. Now I'm having full garden to finish up my meal. Cheers. I'm using 
Salted egg, egg blend. And I'm going to do lava for me to be able to try it. This one was mind blowing. <laughs> I like it so much. And the shrimp, I ate it earlier the wrong way. I could just bite off the head. It's a little bit more. And it just a little I even bite my tongue. But good. Alexandra, how is that mango shape? It's sweet. It's yummy. It's tasty. It's yellow. Which do you like more? Watermelon or mango? Mango. Jen Korean Barbecue House is an upscale Korean barbecue experience from Los Angeles, California and franchised to the Philippines in August 2017 by Exelor Restaurant Management Group. Their first branch outside the United States and largest branch in the world was built at SM by the Bay close to the SM Mall of Asia with a seating capacity of 500 guests. Jen is undoubtedly one of the best Korean barbecue buffets you can enjoy in the Philippines. 